Good ball game. You know, it, it starts on the mound, and Ben was in control of what he was doing. I thought his stuff has gotten a little bit better for the majority of the year. Um, he had some, some good outings early sporadically, but I think you're seeing a group that's starting to stack some outings, and you know a little bit more of what you're going to get, and that's what pitching is about. It's repeating your mechanics and your stuff, and hopefully as you – you get a little bit more experience and stronger, the stuff gets better. And I think that's what we've seen. He had really good changeup, again, good changeup. Some good sliders. The fastball had some movement enough that he's an infielder and he's a very athletic kid. It's hard to fathom why sometimes getting off the mound three steps to pick up a ball and throw to first base is the hardest part of the outing, but clearly it has been for him. But we evaded the slop on that one fronted ball and Dennison was good. We were trying to figure out if it was clean, we are going to try to get the ball to Denison. If it was a little messy, then you have Ox or Army to maybe a little more comfortable getting out of the, the mess. So it lined up for Denison. I thought, again, his stuff, velocity, tempo, and rhythm of the delivery, I think it seems like it's gotten better. And the secondary pitch is a little bit sharper. Ox good again. And then Kirkland, we've just seen the evolution of him gaining some confidence. And that slider, when it's 87, 88, and it's got the bite and spin it does. It's tough on righties and lefties. So another good outing for him. Kamaka, clearly some good at-bats, had a good day, five RBIs. Tibbs had a couple, a couple good at-bats. Colton Vincent, the swing, the, the line drive to left field, is the best swing I've seen him take left-handed. It's pretty remarkable what he's been able to do. And I, again, I think he, he keeps getting a little bit more comfortable and a little better. And we're seeing him shoot balls all over the place. Now, Holbrook catching was squatting today. I thought he had more range and lateral mobility, which was nice. Cam had a big at-bat. So solid win, and you take it and you go to Louisville. But anytime you get to walk out there and play, you're appreciative of that. The weather cleared, and I, and, you know, I thought the guys overcame some early misfires there and, and turned in a pretty good performance. I know you guys, you talked on Sunday about how, how big reps are for some of the young guys, but not to only be getting reps, but also having success in those reps late in the season. Just how big do you think that will be for some of those guys going into the off season? Fred, it's huge. You know, you do all the practice and you want. Um, if you look at if you look at professional baseball, the minor league structure and system is built to give young players repetitions in game situations. So, the luxury we have in college is that we do get chances to practice and work on things and just gain uh, kind of physical repetitions that are drill oriented or more in a practice environment, but you can't you can't replicate this. So for Kamaka to have those at bats, Cam, Cam's base running play, um, Tibbs staying on the change up the left field, you just you can't create that. Holbrook getting a chance to catch, and then Colton coming in later in the game, and the the freshman arms getting a chance to pitch against their you know they're a solid team, they're, they're a good team, so it's priceless. With Ben, I guess just. What is the next step for him on the mound, do you think? And do you see next year if you have kind of a less of a need on the mound, getting him kind of back at the plate a little bit more? I, I would like to, Brett. You know, he hurt his wrist, so he had a, a spell where he could not swing at all. And we kind of put it down. And um, clearly we've been searching and hunting for pitching. So we pick our moments to get him back in there. And obviously we haven't picked those lately. There was a time when the at-bats were very good, but when he had the little injury, we kind of we kind of set it down for now, and it it'll reemerge, but harnessing a little bit more of what he's doing outside of maybe just the stuff and controlling the running game and having different looks when runners are on base and some of the finer points of pitching, we wanted him to kind of focus on that, like on the the last quarter of the season here to try to really lock in because we felt like like we would need it, like we needed these innings today, and I thought he was a little more prepared, having maybe not banged around at first base as much, so it'll re-emerge, but for our team and what we were doing right now, we thought that was the smartest thing, especially with his little injury. With Titan, just what have you seen from him the last couple weeks that's allowed him to go on this run? I think he's recognizing pitches better. He's been on the fastball, in my opinion, all year, but once you've shown that, the fastball ratio changes, like you're not gonna get him as much. And I think just some recognition the ability to put some of those two strike breaking pitches in play, the ability to hang in there. Like people, once you spit at some breaking balls, people will then try to kind of go back up or in with the fastball. 
and he's in a great position to hit. So he can make late decisions, and that's that's why you see him, regardless of the count, like he'll shoot balls the other way pretty good. But because of that, I also think he's calibrated some takes and the ability to hang in there on some off-speed pitches that maybe early in the year he was not doing as well. And I think the same could be said for Cam and you know when Diamez, we saw it from time to time. So um, he does a lot of things well, but the pitch selection is I think where he's probably made his biggest stride lately. I know we've, we've talked a lot about the frustration of this year and it obviously wasn't what you guys wanted, but to end your home season here with back-to-back -back wins to have the fans out there and the players doing the Knowles cheer with the fans, just, just what does it mean to be able to end the home schedule with back-to-back -back wins like that? Our fans are the best and the animals are here. I mean, they're down over our dugout, K timing it up to the last out and I'm so appreciative of that and so are our players. To walk off Wake Sunday was great. And as this day was unfolding, like you wanted the season to end on a positive note because we haven't had a ton of those. And this is the youngest team I've ever been charged with coaching and they're growing. And I think we're seeing some strides. So I'm trying to pull some positives out of seeing some of these guys develop and knowing as we move forward with this, you're gonna have some really talented players that just lacked experience and reps and maturity and strength. So my concern today was if we don't come play well, then kind of the, the way the season would have ended at home with the weight game like, is washed away with the inability to, to play back-to-back -back good games and position yourself to walk out of here with two good wins. But we did it. So I think it even accentuated what happened on Sunday a little bit more. And I'm happy for the guys. I mean, these guys have fought and clawed. It has not gone like you would have hoped but the last two games did, and that, that means a lot to the fans. I think it means a lot for our guys to walk off the field watching the fans kind of enjoy what happened today.